Hello friends! Today we are going to be solving some story problems and we are going to be using our little stuffed birds to help us answer some questions. When we are answering word problems or story questions, we can act them out to help us know how to do them or we could draw them. So today we are going to be acting and drawing. I hope that you have fun. Class, we're going to act out some word problems. This is a some and some more problem. There were two birds in a tree. And then another bird flew to meet them. How many birds are in the tree now? Well, here we can count them. But if we weren't sure, we could draw a picture. Class, you might not have a tree, but I am going to draw one today. A very simple tree. I am going to draw two birds because we had two birds in our tree. When we're drawing, it does not have to be perfect. I have two birds in my tree. Two and then one more came along. I have one, two, and then one more. Two plus one equals three. Class, we have three birds in the tree. Another bird flew in to meet them. Now, how many birds are there? One, two, three, four. You're right. But if you don't have birds in a tree, you could draw the parts of your story problem. That would help you answer the question. Well, class, I have three birds in my tree and I think I'm gonna get one more. Three plus one equals Four. Our drawing doesn't need to be perfect for us to be able to count one, two, three birds plus one more. Four. Class, I have four birds in our tree. Another bird flew into the tree to meet with his friends. Now how many birds do we have? One, two, three, four, five. You're right. But if we don't have birds and we don't have a tree, how else could we figure out this story? You're right. We could draw the story. Class, I have four birds in my tree and one more came along. I have four plus one equals one, two, three, four, five five birds. Class, there are five birds in the tree. But the blue jay flew away. The red-winged blackbird flew away. And the goldfinch flew away. How many birds are left? You're right. There are two birds, the robin and the cardinal. But if we didn't have birds and we didn't have a tree, how could we solve this problem? You're right. We could draw. Well, we had five birds, but then one, two, and three of them went away. Five minus three equals how many? One, two. When we're solving word problems, we can draw a picture. And it does not need to be perfect. Friends, I hope that you had fun acting and drawing our math stories today. Whenever you have a math story and you're not sure of the answer, you could act it out or you could have some fun drawing it. I hope that you have a wonderful day, class. Bye-bye.